The scene moments ago during the course of our commercial break. Here comes Shaquille O'Neal. With a sense of drama, Shaquille O'Neal just arrived at the arena. He's hustling back to the Orlando locker room and obviously will try to get himself into uniform and will be appearing on the bench. Now, earlier, Brian Hill told out Jim Gray that he would play Shaquille only if he arrived before game time. So the of the circumstances. We'll see, but Shaquille making his way to the Orlando locker room. It was thought that he would not play. We heard Dennis Scott say that he'd probably sit it out for several additional days. And there's Shaquille looking to, they, well, he's got the key himself. <laughs> and he's headed to the locker room. A look at the starting lineups. The Magic will start without Shaquille O'Neal. First for the Chicago Bulls at 65 and 85 straight wins to the Magic Bench. Our director of player personnel, John Gabriel, just came out and informed head coach Brian Hill that Shaq is in the locker room and getting dressed. And Brian has a very quizzical look on his face right now, not really sure of what's going to happen. So Shaq is in the building. Hardaway, yes, and the Magic for the 2 nothing lead. Very difficult situation for team management, the coaching staff. They have to let him play, no matter what was said earlier, because of the, the sensitivity of the issue. Well, everybody is sensitive to, to Shaq's feelings at this point, going through the grieving process, the most probably traumatic situation for him in his young life. Good job, Jim. All right, Marv, Shaq is right now in the locker room. He is getting suited up. His ankles are being taped by Lenny Courier. John Gabriel uh, with the uh, Magic came out to Brian Hill, the head coach, and asked him what he thought. Would he let Shaq play? Emphatically, Hill said, no, I don't want him to play. He was not here in time for the tip, so he doesn't want him to play. But then afterwards, Bob Vandewey, who is the president of the club, said, we'll see. That could change. They are still waiting for Shaquille. We get this like just a moments Come before yeah, the feeling, introduction Jack? of the lineup. Right. made his way to the arena. It was thought that he's definitely out of tonight's game, but he did make his way in rather dramatic fashion, and here comes the kill on air. The crowd reacts as Scott fires too long, and Shaquille takes a seat on the Orlando Bowl arena. Marv Albert, Matt Gilkes, Jim Gray, Ahmad Rashad. Seven point Chicago lead, and here comes Shaquille O'Neal. And this is certainly a change of heart because Brian Hill, who obviously is upset with the way Shaquille handled what is certainly a sensitive matter, but still upset, said before the game that he would not play Shaquille O'Neal if he showed up here following the tip and wanted a hold to that, said he would, and obviously has changed his mind. Well, it's got to be so difficult. You're trying to coach your basketball team against the best team in the league. You're trying to win this ball game on your home floor, and you have all these things swirling around your head. But Brian Hill has to remember, he had, and I'm sure he's thinking, he has to do what is best for this organization and for Shaquille O'Neal and all the players. No matter if it were not Shaquille O'Neal, and uh, obviously it's always a very difficult coaching decision. I don't think as uh, Shaquille goes right to it and draws the foul. Expect under normal conditions Shaquille O'Neal would be rusty, but obviously he struggles at the foul line. But uh, he has not bounced a basketball for the last five, six days. It's one of two. And the Bulls lead 28-22. I would think this is a benchmark situation. If he had not played Shaquille, people would say, what a strong move by the coach, Brian Hill, in sticking to the rules.